it's Jamie from Cottontail Crossing and in today's video we're gonna work on a transition area. So in the last speed build we created this entrance for my island Cottontail which is a spring core and farm core themed island and today we're gonna connect this entrance over to resident services. And my inspiration for this build is kind of like a country road or a dirt road vibe that is surrounded by a lot of trees almost like you're going through a tunnel of trees. Um, when I lived in a rural kind of farming area in the state of Georgia, I would drive by dirt roads like this a lot where you just look down it and it looked like a road going off through a tunnel of oak trees. So that's kind of my inspiration for this. And I also found some images on Pinterest that inspired me for this kind of farming road. And this one is set in autumn, but we're gonna be doing a lot of spring and bright colors. But as you can see, it's just a dirt path kind of going through a woodsy, rustic area. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, and let's get started. So first thing, I'm going to move some of these trees around the entrance to the transition area so that I can open up the line of sight. I want to be able to look down the path and view the whole path straight ahead so that it gives you the feeling of a long straight road. And then when we add the trees, it will create that tunnel kind of feeling that I'm going for. So I'm using the technique where I take the skinny dirt path and I place it side by side to make it appear like a worn down road. Maybe wagons come through here on their way to the farmer's market. I don't know, but it's really farmy and cute and I'm honestly obsessed with it. So I'm probably gonna end up paving most of my island using this method. And I am leaving some gaps and breaks in the path so that I can add flowers and weeds and give it more of an overgrown feeling. So if you've ever seen people making the super popular diagonal pathways, all they're doing is taking the corner pieces of the nine piece pathway and alternating using them. And that's how you create the diagonal look. It actually doesn't use the skinny pieces of path, it's the corners only. And just by alternating those, you can get that diagonal look that you're going for. So it's a lot easier than you would think. So now I'm going to start adding in some trees to start framing the area and filling it in before we start adding in some decorations. I am mostly going to use the hardwood trees because it reminds me of uh, my inspiration which was the tunnel of oak trees and I just think that they are a little bit better for the farm core vibe than the cedar trees but um, I do use a mix and I'm gonna play around with the stunted trees too to make the area feel more full and a little bit more interesting to look at I'm also going to use a giant vine in a few different places. I think they're such a cool item because they're really tall and it's another greenery item to help fill in some space. And I also like how it has a little bit of a fairy tale vibe to it. It reminds me of like Jack and the Beanstalk. Um, so I'm going to be using them a lot because I do want my island to feel a little bit fairy tale or like a nursery rhyme. So. I think they're a perfect item to use around this island.
So I like how it's starting to look like a long straight road that you can't quite see the end of. I really like that and it's coming along nicely so far. I left this little circular area open over here because I decided that I wanted to create a little picnic. So I'm going to put down this really cute blanket code and create a little picnic or seating area that's kind of hidden over here. Now I'm going to place down some more trees on the right side of the build so that we can frame it in some more and start to create the, the outline of the road. I know a lot of people really don't like the rain in this game and that this whole build is being done in the rain, but personally, I love it. So I'm sorry if it bothers you guys, but I love the rain in real life, so I'm obsessed with the rain in Animal Crossing too. So unfortunately, you might see a lot of rainy day content from me. I'm starting to place down some decorations and flowers to fill in the area and create the overgrown feeling. I'm using a lot of wheat fields, the mushroom items, and spooky items. And then I'm sticking with the color theme of like white, orange, yellow, and red. And I'm just starting to add kind of the finishing touches of the area to really bring it to life and add all the little details. One thing that I really love about the wheat item is that it looks like a plant but you can layer it on top of codes. So that's what I'm doing here and I think it's really cool because it creates a seamless transition between the code on the ground and the plant versus like when you put a code next to a bush you still kind of see the, the squareness on the ground. So I like that you can use the wheat fields to round out corners on the codes in some situations. Look how cute Nan looks in her rainy day outfit. Like you guys can't tell me that you don't love seeing your villagers dressed up in their little rain jackets. She's so cute. And the last little bit that I need to work on is the very end of the path, kind of now where you've come out of the trees and you're turning over into resident services. Just going to decorate by this little pond that I have over here.
All right, we finished everything up and let's check out the final build. So right off the bat, I love how when you start walking down the path, it just looks like a long straight road. You can't see the end of it or and can't really tell where it's going to go. So I think that worked out perfectly capturing the country road kind of feel. And then we have this cute little seating area off to the side where maybe you can go to hide away and have a picnic lunch or read some books for a few hours and nobody will know where you are. And then you head down and there's lots of nice little details with the wheat and the codes and butterflies. And then it takes you right over to resident services. I hope you guys enjoyed today's build and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And I will catch you next time. Bye! Thank you.